Have you or a loved one been tricked into signing on to a Microsoft online account when signing up for Windows 11 or 10 against your wishes and against your will? Well, we may have the video just for you. Thanks to Hookies for sponsoring this video. Now these are OEM Windows keys. That means that you do your own tech support. You're not going to be relying on Microsoft and they're generally locked to the hardware. We got a coupon code. Click on buy now. Put in coupon code TS25. Hit apply and that price comes down. Now when you compare that to the outrageous prices from Microsoft, you'd have to buy this many, many, many times to equal the price of one regular key from Microsoft. As of right now, this Windows 10 Pro key will unlock Windows 11. We also have Windows 10 Home. Windows 11, you can buy it directly. Windows 11 Home. And we have two flavors of Office. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here. Go to your user center. Click on My Purchase Orders. Just View, Keys, and Codes. Then you can just copy and paste your key. Hit Start. Type Activate. Click on Activation Settings. Paste it in there. Click on Next. And you will be activated. So head on over to hookies.com to get yourself an OEM Windows key at a price that makes sense. Microsoft's always trying to get you to sign in with an online account. When you first install Windows, it, it seems like you cannot like do anything other than use a Microsoft online account when you know logging into Windows 10 and also Windows 11, especially with the new versions of Windows 11. Now, I've already made a video talking about how to bypass the online stuff and just use a local account. And I'll put that link in the description. So if you just want to you know, set up a new copy of Windows, there's a couple things you can do to make sure that you always are able to use an offline account. Now, if you maybe you signed up with an offline account, this happens to a lot of people, and then Microsoft will do an update. And every time they do an update, it pops up on the screen and like, hey, we're getting things ready. This is your new desktop or whatever. And they have a splash screen. And then you click next to log in. And it's like, you need to log in with a Microsoft account. Now, if you just click next and go through that, they're going to make you sign up with a Microsoft account or, you know, connect your Microsoft account to your Windows computer. You don't have to do that. You just make sure that you go down to the bottom, hit no, stop, leave me alone, cancel, no means no Microsoft. So you have to go through all that nonsense again. And then sometimes if you're, you know, using the Microsoft Store, they'll have something that pops up and says, hey, would you also like to log into your Windows installation using your Microsoft account since you're logging in to the store, huh? And if you click yes on that, well, then all of a sudden you're now logged in to your Windows with a Microsoft account, with your Microsoft email and all that kind of nonsense. There's a lot of reasons why you do not want this. I'm not going to cover that. We're just going to keep it simple. All right, I've got my desktop here. This is a virtual machine. That's why you see a little no VNC. So just ignore that. All right, there's a few different ways to get there. You can just click on your settings cog if it's here, but if not, you'll want to click on start and then type settings. There we go. Click on settings app. On the left side here, you'll see accounts. So click on that and then you'll see your account right here. And if you're logged in to the Microsoft thing like I am, it'll show your Microsoft account right here. I went through a lot of pain for this. I'm logged in. I didn't want to do this, but I'm logged in just so I can show you. Now, the easiest way to you know sign out is to click on your info. Uh, you know, a lot of people think it's under sign in options or something, but it's right here under your info. Then you can come down and click sign in with a local account instead. Now, if that's not available, you may need to come over here and go down to your sign in options right here. And if you see a box that says like use Windows Hello sign in, turn that off. This will cause problems. So just turn that off. I'm on the brand new version of Windows, so it might not be that big of a deal, but some people have issues if that's turned on, which is your Windows Hello, your PIN number, all that kind of stuff. Turn that off. Click on Accounts back up here on the top. Come back down to Your Info. And then we're going to sign in with a local account instead. It's like, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I've got my PIN right here. All right, well, now we can add our local account, so I'll just put one in here. Make sure you make a nice, strong password, and don't forget it. All right, sign out and finish. It might reboot or whatever, or log me out and then log me back in. So it's going to sign you out and then you can sign back in right here. And if you already set up a pen, it'll be the same pen that you were using before. So that's it. And now we are using an offline account. So if I go back over here, I'm just going to click on the settings icon right here, click on settings and then click on accounts. You'll see we are now using a local account and it's going to bother you all the time to sign in and OneDrive go away. It's all going to bother you. And right here, you're going to see well, I've got a different taskbar than you probably do. Let me get rid of that just so you can see the regular taskbar. But you'll see right here, if I click on this, it's going to say, you know, account protection. Oh, it's, it thinks that we're still protected. But after you log in and log out, it's going to say, you know, you need to sign in. 
you are not signed in. It's going to tell you, ah, sign in. But just be very careful whenever you're messing around with anything. It's always going to try to get you to be like, hey, do you also want to sign in to Windows 11 using the same account? Just make sure that you don't do that. All right, so as you can see, it's really easy. There wasn't much to it, but I wanted to make sure that everyone out there knew how to do this. If Microsoft ever changes this, makes it more difficult or whatever, I think that's going to be kind of scary. I don't think they'll do that because... I don't know, for development reasons, maybe that would be difficult. But if they ever try to you know, force you to always use an online Microsoft account, we'll try to find ways around that. And I'll let you know here. I'll make videos as soon as we figure it out and as soon as the news comes out. So just keep watching here and you'll always know how to log out of your Microsoft account. But for now, head on over here. I've only got a few of these left. Let me show you a few things that I've that I'm almost out of. I've got like a half a box of these left and I'll, I'll mark them down to $9.99. When I'm editing, I'll watch and and do that. So $9.99 on these. Only got like a half box left and that's it. They're gone forever. I found some metal ones. I have like three of these left. That's it. Because I found some. Someone asked and I found some in a box. They bought two. There was five. Now there's only like three left. That's it. This is a very important shirt. Not very many of those left either. So I'm, I'm going to try to be clearing out some of those shirts. So head over to epicpants.com. Grab some stuff on sale. All the links are in the description. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.